the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. That's right, friends. This is your man Z, and uh, I'm watching DC Fandom, and I'm kind of, I'm gonna say I'm kind of excited about this one. This one is th let's just say The Rock does a real good job of selling the goods he's got. He uh, he br he's bringing out the the trailer to to Black Adam. Well, it's not really a trailer, but it's like a teaser of the first appearance of Black Adam. And, you know, at first I was like, yeah, yeah, this movie, wasn't sure how I felt about it, but it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited. The man, he knows how to, how to sell these things. So we'll take a little bit of a look. We'll go through it a little bit, see if we see any tidbits or any, uh, any tasty morsels. I will say it got me a little hyped. Uh, I, <laughs> the one thing that I thought, you know, how many times have we seen people with, like, guns going through some sort of temple and you're like ah oh, what's going on here so a couple of explorers i i think these are the other two superheroes i think it's cyclone and atom smasher not a hundred percent sure i don't know the plot of this movie at all period uh but it looks like they go into some you know ancient temple or i don't know what's going on there the ceiling crack kind of looks like a lightning bolt the one thing about the dc universe is Man, why is everything so dark? Everything is so dark, it's so intensely dark. I don't really understand, but this is the crown. I'm assuming that's Black Adam's crown. Not the biggest uh, comic book Black Adam. I, I don't know that much about it, to be honest with you. I just know what I'm seeing, and I'm just reacted to it. But it's pretty cool that, you know, the crown's floating out there, and then, you know, it's, it, I get, it looks like it's over that throne where, you know, he took over the world or whatever. Some runes, some Marian runes or something on the ground, right? They speak the magic words and, you know, he comes, he's going to get summoned. Crack of lightning, right? Blows everybody back. Now, I'll say <laughs> the beginning of this part, it's a real strong Alien versus Predator vibe. I'm like, what? <laughs> which is not a good movie, not something I'd like to repeat. So hopefully this isn't anything like Alien vs. Predator. I'm sure it's not. But here he's summoned in his black cloak, looking pretty dope. Uh, again, they're not giving too much detail away here, which is cool. I like it. Don't keep me in suspense. Get me excited about it. You know, they summon him, I guess. He's been in some sort of purgatory. I know they had to to chain him up and they, they give away the origin in, in the Shazam movie and there sure better be a Shazam Black Adam crossover. I mean, this 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 movie should make money. Uh, it can't be terror. I mean, The Rock is not known for making good movies, but this looks kind of cool. Uh, as we go along, uh, some fool, some mortal decides to approach him. And now this I thought was intensely cool. They had some like not so PG 13 uh, Shazam. Shazam was real weird because it had the. It's real bright and up, kind of upbeat, and the kids and everything. But there was like the monsters were real creepy. Like they went a little too hard on the creep side and a little too hard on the violent side, I thought, for the type of movie they were trying to do. I know he's an anti hero, but damn. He lifts this dude up off the ground and then just proceeds to disintegrate the man. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Like this dude, he's just, he's getting fried. It's pretty dope. The lightning goes through him. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. I must, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Now he's disintegrating. Look at that. Not even looking at the man. Can't even give him the respect. Turns his whole body to uh, a skeleton, which then disintegrates. <laughs> this, I like this part too, where the skull rolls and then disintegrates. It's pretty cool. And then they have this part, of course, you know, still Alien versus Predator vibe. Gotta put that out of my head. These guys open fire on him. Now, I don't know why he catches one bullet. <laughs> they just shot him with like a million bullets, but he's like, oh, look, a bullet. 
one bullet. But obviously, he's got the strength of Superman. He's not quite on the same level as Superman. He might think he is. Although Superman is... Is Superman gone? Well, I don't know. Who knows what's going on anymore? I know we tr they tried to get Henry Cavill to come back for all this. Who knows? Restore the Snyderverse. We know we want it. But he floats up into the air. Bullets do him no harm. And you then you get the logo. I mean, that's the only tease we got. But DC th fandom, you're getting me hyped. I'm into it. I'm excited. Are you excited? Tell me below. Do you think this is another bomb that the rock is putting out there like is this gonna be total junk or is this a good one don't know i'm gonna try to hit up some more fandom videos for you uh make sure you like and subscribe we hope we earned that today from you we really do appreciate it thank you so much for watching be sure to uh, catch our full length live audio podcast you can either download it for free anywhere you can get uh podcasts itunes stitcher spotify all those great places Plus, you can come join us live Friday nights. Uh, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. Join in the fun. Anyway, uh, on to more fandom and on to the next one. Uh.